This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, desaturating me. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes steroids and eats dreams. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. You don't and take steroids. Yes, I do. I also take horse tranquilizers and adrenaline. Why would you take horse tranquilizer? To counteract the adrenaline. No, Ryan. No. Today we are doing stuffs. Stuffs that you will watch because you push play. So technically, this is on you. Also, some color manipulating stuffs. Stop saying stuffs. Sh that's not better. Question. Hey, Rye Guy, how did you desaturate yourself and nothing else in the latest episode? Easy cheesy. Let's pop this pimple. Ew. Agreed. So we're going to jump right into the whole desaturating me thing, which before any effects looked like this. Me on a green screen. Now, I could have done this through masking or I could have tried selective color, but the masking would have been a serious pain and so would have selective color since there are too many similar colors in the image. So separating me from the background entirely was really the best way to go. So the first thing we did was shoot our footage, of course, making sure that the lighting with or without the green screen was the same on me. The green screen was evenly lit and that none of my body went outside of the screen. With that in mind, I played out the scene and we got our clean plate. Let's do the dishes. Mother should see that. Next, we bring those goodies into After Effects, drop the actor's performance up top, and below that, we put the clean plate. Then we mask around the actor, who is me in this case, and key the sexy green screen sexy sexy out. <laughs> now, all we have to do is select the actor's layer, add saturation, and desaturate that b****. That's it. Stupid super simple. <laughs> For the shots with Eris, I just did the same thing in production. That way, he was acting with me, except he wasn't on the screen. Then in post, I just did the same thing as before, except this time, I also duplicated the actor layer and masked Eris in, separating his layer from mine. If you're going to do something like that second shot with the two actors, keep your background in mind. If the light switches at all, the clean plate in Eris's layer wouldn't line up right. So, you know, drop it like it's hot. Oh, it's boiling. You could also get most of this in camera by using makeup and clothing that appear black and white. That would be a great way to get it done, but we didn't have black and white looking clothing, so there's that. But this whole green screen method is great for all sorts of things. The main point is that you're easily separating one actor out of the scene. So now we could do all sorts of fun things like turn me into a hologram or make me a ghost or make me shrink down because why not? By separating the actor from the background, you could really do whatever you want to them within legal boundaries, of course. Pop lock. Hey, wanna play paper, rock, scissors? No. Come on, one game. Okay. That's for you. Really? I'm flicking you off. You know, if I were a Viking. This did not start out on the right foot. And I, and I, I was in a boat. Yeah, okay. The Viking and I are a website. And not, the boat is domain.com. Not making sense. And, and it's carrying me into Websiteville. You see what? what I'm saying? I mean, if you said it, And then, the so, do, so it's, it's my, the boat's my hosting plan, you know? Okay. And it's sailing me to my website because I'm a Viking and I want one. All right. I switched it from what it was before. And, and then I have a domain, and I'm like, Your look, and it's soaring through the air. Guess what it is? A dragon. The domain name of my dreams. Okay, that's it's not, beautiful. That's not where I Guess what that. happens? Here comes a dragon. Oh, there's the dragon. It's the domain name I wanted. Oh, what am I going to do? do? Guess what? The boat really 
really just talk is domain.com now and straightforward and gatling gun comes out i think you know what the gatling gun is enough. the domain discovery service gatling it helps me pick the right name for me because the dragon ate out. the one i wanted okay, the continuity in the story is way so off. let me tell you something we got the boat this is that boat is re reliable and affordable that's the hosting the plans we forward. got the gatling gun that's not, the domain discovery service. Tell me, pick the right name for me. And guess what? I'm a Viking. I don't have a lot you're of money. Not, you're not a Viking. I don't have a lot of money. I'm sailing. Okay. So I need to use the coupon code FilmRide at checkout to make sure I can save me my Viking coin. All right. That. So I can get a bride. Okay. And make children. That could have been a lot simpler. For the, the Viking gods, which I forget the name currently. But what do you think domain names? Think domain.com. Man, I nailed that. Not so much. Nailed it! Not so much. Logo. I mentioned before about using selective color and some of you might not know what I'm talking about. So let me explain. Shut your ass down. I'm about to explain. This is the effect where you single out one specific color to tweak in your image. One of the most famous uses of this was in Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List, where the entire film is in black and white, except for one scene where we see a little girl in a red coat. Everything is in black and white except for that red coat. A similar idea is used throughout all of the Sin City film as well. <laughs> <laughs> and like the last effect, this effect can be crazy simple to pull off, but it actually doesn't start in post. To really pull this off, you wanna know what you're gonna do in production, being mindful of the colors that you have in your shot. Say I want to put this shirt as the main color to adjust. Since I know while shooting, I will make sure there is nothing else green in my shot. That way in post, this will become much simpler. But now that I have the shot, I'll come into Premiere, which I could pull this shot off right in Premiere because we were smart while shooting. So I'll drop my shot in and add leave color, then grab the eyedropper here and click the green of the shirt. Next, we will change match color to use hue and then adjust the amount to the color all the way to 100. After that, we will adjust the tolerance and softness as needed and we have our effect, which again is only this easy because we knew what we wanted to do in production and shot accordingly. <laughs> Is that me? But say you want to take out that green and leave everything else. Well, in that case, we will delete leave color and bring in change color. In here, I will once again grab my eyedropper, select my color, drop the saturation down, and tweak tolerance and softness as needed. In here, you can also jack the saturation back up and then change the hue of the color like so to whatever you want, or even mess with the lightness. <laughs> And all of this is working so well because we shot accordingly. But say there was something else green in the shot. That's a pretty simple fix as well. Just send this shot into After Effects by right clicking and replacing with After Effects composition. And what's great about doing it this way is once we get there, the work we did here with the filter in Premiere has moved over to After Effects. So now we will duplicate our clip, remove the filter from the bottom layer, then select the top layer and add a mask around the area we do want to change. Now we just need to do a simple mask animation and we are good to go. Baby wear! So there you go, to saturate things. Cause you can not be a god of color. Baskin stuff, I guess. Well that's it my lovely lovelies. You're all sexy, every, every one of you, even you. You can follow me on my Twitter place right here. And if you'd rather be my friendo on Facebook, well, how you like them apples? Red delicious apples. All right, you crazies. I'll see you guys next time when I shoot the cook because the meal was that good. Oh, it's boiling. Ah!